Good morning, everybody. This is Matador from FreeTurningVideos.com. Nice to be with you again on this Thursday, August 20th, 2009. And even a little gap up here, pre-market. And we have a sell-off now going on. There's some economic news that came out. Initial claims came in at 576,000 uh, when briefing forecast was 550. And uh, so that's a little bit more than expected, which is not necessarily a good thing. And that had an effect on the markets around 830 have a pretty good size sell off with volume but it's still back to support this whole level in here remains intact it's the hundred dollar mark as well so we'll have to see how that news gets digested at the open uh, even though we can see a little bit of action pre-market this run up in the resistance uh, is actually from a line that we had in yesterday that one hundred dollar and seventy cent mark if I scrunch this up you can see that we ran a little bit higher than that after the uh, close before the big gap down big-ish gap down and if you format this and get rid of the pre and post market data you'll see why that line was in there and so here's the uh, $100.70 mark that is the previous day is high so it's a perfect gap fill now and we are gapping up now into that a little bit of a sell-off again due to the news but it's a little bit more bullish than bearish we'll again just have to see how this gap that gets formed at the open, if it's still a gap, <laughs> uh, it gets digested. So very good. That's what I'm looking at this morning pre-market. I'll be looking at stocks that are exhibiting relative strength compared to this. If I'm going to go long, and uh, realize that as the markets run up into this, they're going to have to chew their way through that and then find another layer of resistance uh, just beyond that. So I would have to scrunch this up. 101.50 is a good area to watch out for. Going out to a 60-minute 60, uh, 60 chart. Uh, you can see some good resistance through here as well. Uh, 101.50 is the most obvious. And then after that, of course, we've got the prior swing high, 101.99, which is 102. Very good. On the downside, if we're going to head lower today, uh, we still have this uh, area of resistance uh, once broken becoming support. And that'll be a fantastic area to watch out for on the way down. And you can see it more clearly intraday. That was the one from yesterday, so 99.30. $100 again, always to watch out for, and then the swing low down here. So 98.39, great support. So that's what my eye looks to. Sometimes right at these apexes of symmetrical triangles like this, you can get some pretty good support. Uh, I would kind of make that a little bit uh, earlier if I was going to take action and not force it to do something that it might not be able to do. But uh, again, just watch out for this area, and that also happens to be that $99 mark. So again, round number corroborating nicely with an apex of a triangle breakout where people start getting hurt. Uh, another good area of support right there. So watch out if you're short into that. Good stuff, everybody. It's fantastic working with you all. I'd love your comments and uh, thoughts and any concerns. Just bring them on and uh, we'll take care of them as they go. And uh, I'll talk to you around noon.